Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jurors here. So first of all, if you guys end up enjoying the video, please click that like button and consider subscribing. And let's get right into it. So today we're looking at all the different ways of kiting zombies and all the different zombies and how you kite each one. Um, so first of all, just a normal zombie we could look at here. Oh, we got a couple chilling over here. Um, so what I do is I just hold down the back key and then you can kind of run backwards. And sometimes it's kind of hard, especially if you run out of run. We're doing this with no skills, so that it's as hard as possible. So I can show you guys that zombie kiting really isn't that bad. But once you get your exercise up and your cardio up, it gets really easy. And it looks like it's, he's going to hit you, but he doesn't end up hitting you. And so that's relatively hard because we're just using our fists. But once you get the knife or something like that, it ends up getting really easy because it stuns them. And so it's just really no problem. If you're playing on hard mode, it won't stun them, but still you just use the run backwards strategy and make sure you max your um, uh, exercise as quickly as possible. All right, guys, since we have a mega here, we're gonna go into the mega. I'm gonna show you guys an easy way to glitch them. You can pretty much do this at any location. I don't tend to do it. I usually just shoot them with a gun because I tend to have enough ammo sitting around where I'll be fine. So our game plan is we're gonna jump up here crouch down and he's not going to be able to hit us. We'll see how it works. I don't normally do this so I don't know how it's going to go. We're going to wait till our run gets all the way up. We did get a little bit of experience so maybe we'll put that in exercise or something. There you go. <laughs> Alright, come on big boy. Let's go. How don't you see me bud? Oh, there we go. And so with, with the Megas you want to kite side to side because you know he is, is going to be throwing rocks. Um, so if you're doing this normally you would just be kiting side to side. And so here you can see it's gonna look like he's a... Uh... Yeah, he just kinda stands there, chucks a rock at us. Oh, okay, we got too close that time. Like I said, I don't normally do this, so... We're kinda figuring it out. There we go. That's a good spot. So I can just kind of knife him in the face. He'll go backwards and throw rocks at me. And it's really not a big deal. All right, there it is. So as you can see, it took a little bit, but uh, it's very easy. You can just sit up here forever, honestly. Well, that's some good drops. Look at that. And so there's there's spots everywhere, uh, on every location, pretty much that you can do that with. Um, it just takes finding a good one. Okay, guys. Now we can look at runners, I guess, since we have one right there. So there's really no good method with runners. They're just going to get you sometimes. Like that's that's just like the end of it. If you don't have a knife or some type of weapon that's going to stun them, I wouldn't suggest going after them uh, because they just really do hurt. Uh, <laughs> see, we got that one. We we get them about 75% of the time personally, but they're just like very hard you know uh, there's just you just have to time it right you have to get a feel for it these guys I don't know if we talked about them already but they're very easy just don't get hit by them because they do bleed you we made ourselves nervous right there talking about it okay we could look at fighting Omega normally so you're just gonna want some type of gun and you kind of just like back up with him whenever he goes down to grab a brick you just start uh, running sideways and it'll really never hit you. So you're holding backwards and to the side while pressing um, run. And he's relatively easy to kill like that. Okay guys, so we can look at invisible zombies. Um, they're kind of a pain until you get the timing down for, that, for them. So they're always gonna go right behind you and try to get you in the back. And so pretty much what you do is you just cut them off at an angle of where they're running. So you're trying to meet them like at the angle. So we can see, oh that didn't work very well. We're kind of failing to hit him in the face too. Yeah, I don't know. There it is. They're they're relatively easy. All right, we're gonna try another invisible one here. So pretty much we just go at that angle as they try to go around us. Oh. I feel like we're lagging or something. I really don't know. But they're always gonna go to the right kind of. So you gotta kind of cut them off. Um, they're pretty easy to get hit a bunch of times from though, so be careful with those flaming guys. So there's like multiple techniques with these. I mean, a lot of people just shoot them, which that's fine. But uh, personally, um, I just always have 10 bandages on me. 
at all times. And so when I see one of these guys, I don't worry about it. I make or I try to get my healing up, um, the healing, so you can use healing items more effectively. And then um, once you do that, a bandage will always just get you back to 100%. So you pretty much just knife this guy. And then, like, no big deal, we just bandage and we're back at 100% health. People are always like, I only shoot the flaming zombies, the running zombies, the invisible zombies, the blah 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 zombies. And it's like, just don't, don't shoot any of them. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, once you have a military knife, which is, like, extremely easy to get, we they're dropping all over the dang place. Like, life is pretty good. Just make sure your knife stays above 50% so that way it does stun them. Um, and if you really suck, then you can use a chainsaw, I guess. But I don't suggest it. Alright guys, next I'm going to show you how I do horde beacons. This is a little bit different. It doesn't really involve kiting that much just because, uh, I don't know, who wants to freaking melee out the horde beacon? It, like, it sounds horrible. And so you're just going to go up a few with, with regular plates. Um, so what we're going to need really is, is we're going to need regular plates, one large plate, um, a bunch of pine pipes, and a ton of pine spikes. And that is it. So we're just trying to get high enough so we don't get wrecked by the mega. Um, this should be about good. So now we can just put our big old plate here. Bada bing, bada boop. Better off going too high than too low, I think. All right. We're still kind of low, but it shouldn't be an issue. Um, all right, then you're gonna salvage out like the last one or two of these. Oh, we could only do one and still get up there. All right, just in case you fall, then you have a way back up. You just start doing these pipes out. So you're just going to go do do. Um, you can put them pretty close together. Just make sure that they're close enough together where you're not going to fall through the holes. So test it before you start the horde beacon. I like to go two out. You don't have to, though. And you could do a small plate or something and then go out even further. And just kind of like, I don't know, just screw around and do some stuff. The point of the pipes is that so you can see through it and just shoot zombies that are right under you. Um, so don't feel like you have to use the pipes everywhere. Um, you just kind of want to make the platform large enough where if uh, a spitter comes and spits at you, you have enough room where you can like move around and maneuver and get out of the way. <laughs> if that makes sense. So that you're not sitting in the slime. So as long as you have enough to do that, you're pretty good. All right, now it's time to do the spikes. So pretty much you're just gonna wanna, like, wherever you think you're going to be standing, just put spikes. So literally just like spam them all over the place. Okay, so here's a bet of about 70 spikes. That sounds like a lot, but it's actually really, really easy to, to get that many spikes very, very quickly. Um, so if you do have an umbrella, you're probably gonna wanna have the umbrella equipped while you're doing this. You're going to want to have some type of a gun um, to shoot the spitters. And let's get this started. Alright, now we just stand in the center and wait for the zombies to come. Oh. Alright, we got the mega. So this is when we want to start shooting at him. As you guys saw, that's like very, very easy to do. Um, didn't take us that long at all. And yeah, we didn't, we used uh, one Yuri Meg. <laughs> Mainly just used it on the Mega and then the last few zombies because uh, most of our spikes got destroyed or all of them. So yeah, if you want to do like 120 spikes, maybe you could even get the Mega using the spikes. I don't know. All right, guys, I think I covered everything. So the, the main points to take away from this are, well, of course, you want to get your exercise and cardio up as fast as possible. And then after that, you probably want to start working on healing and stuff like that. Make sure you're making plenty of bandages. So if you see clothes on the ground, don't just leave them. Pick them up, scrap them, make um, some rags into dressings, or I mean, rags into bandages into dressings and that'll just give you a good way to get rid of the fire zombies because you won't care that you they, they uh, explode when you killed it. And so, yeah, I don't know, it's a good method. <laughs> 
uh, we're not going to look at all the specialty zombies because I don't see why we would do, we would do that. Because you don't often have to fight them and they're pretty obvious how you should fight them. They're pretty much just like Megas for the most part. Easy buddy. Yeah, with Max Sneaky Beaky and Crouching you can pretty much do anything. Alright, we got him egg road. I'm just going to go side to side. We're going to try to jump up here and lay down. Okay. So this is a great glitch spot if you're in the military base. Like I said, you can pretty much just do it on anything. Um, it's especially important early game when you don't have any um, guns. It just makes it very, very easy. Um, he can just throw rocks all day long and there's nothing he can do. I mean, we'll just keep knifing him until he's dead. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, what inspired me to make this video is actually Swish's failures to kill zombies occasionally. Swish is just like an epic pvp -er, but sometimes he just like really sucks it up versus zombies. That's hilarious to me. So I hope Swish watched this video because we're, we're making fun of him a little bit. Um, but zombies and Unturned are just very, very easy, guys. Like you should not be having any problems with it in normal. In hard, you're allowed to have a little bit of a problem. But not too much, especially not with Megas when you can glitch them out this easily. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe um, if you enjoyed it. And that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.